Mark Savage here and welcome. Just met one of my fellow YouTubers, um, Hammer, RJ MCR. The one that said about my panels and a bit of OCD. Nice fellow actually. Offered around for a cup of tea. What are we doing today though? Detailing, um, cleaning, washing, see what I'm left with. But don't forget about this. Harpic times 10. <clears throat> really, really good stuff for exhaust. But as you know, the framework here's got like polish or something on it. This will take it off, paint it on. But you can't leave it on for too long. It will damage the paint, it will damage the enamel, it will damage damage. So put it on, brush it on, leave it for a little bit and then take it off. Don't leave it for half an hour, really bad. However, a must, a real must and very cheap for your car and bike cleaning kits. I've done exhaust many times with this. This will really come up. Let's have a quick look around the bike and then we're gonna see it all clean. I've been thinking, I know a lot of you like my bike videos, and as it's been quite hard for me to get my bikes lately, how about if you live in Essex, I'm in Braintree, or Braintree, if you live locally to me, I'd love you to come down and visit me, we have a nice cup of tea, and I can showcase your bike. I can not alone just give you the specs of the elite image, their brake course, power, how to service them, tire sizes, fork size, disc size, etc. But I can get a first hand opinion from the actual rider. And that's worth its weight in gold personally. And that may be good for the other people to think, well, I like that bike. I mean, I buy bikes, I've had lots of them, I know generally. And I do vlogs as well. Vlogs. And I've done vlogs and I give my opinion that bike that I've had for one, two, three weeks, maybe six months, whatever. But some of you guys have had bikes for a long time. Um, Steve, um, love Steve, but Bristol way. Um, he had a, an X750, I think he's back to GS again now, you know, and he gave me his opinion of that. We did a nice little video. It's on my channel. I know I keep saying that, but it is on my channel. So, yeah, if you fancy it and you want a little ride down with, to visit me, have a cup of tea, we can look around your bike, get the specs and info, and we can do a nice little chat back and forth, and it will help a lot of other people decide what bikes they may want, getting a first-hand view. So... Message me if you fancy doing that comment. I'm off next week, you know, or whatever it's going to be. Work out a date and time you can come down and we can do a nice video of it that will help a lot of people. What do you reckon? Anyway, quick look around this before I start cleaning it. Now, you know I've done the screen and the mirrors already. Um, yeah, this takes a bit more than washing, but I don't let trade secrets away. This will be lovely and clean. The wheels be lovely and clean. Engine is chill, you know. This is all what I'm gonna put the old harpic on. Same as this bit, chain. Tighten the chain, all this, all this down here needs cleaning. The uh, lens covers are a bit crappy. Um, arrow one's gone a bit more than I want to, so maybe a Lextech one. All dirty, we're gonna clean all that. We're gonna basically going to make it look 10 times better. And my service kit came, a proper Triumph oil filter, a proper Triumph air filter. The appropriate plugs, Iridium plugs, it also came with a sump as well, the washer, I forget about them. And this is what I was saying about the box, it's a lot easier, you know, to throw away after use, wash it out, whatever you need to do to make sure there's no oil left in there. But that's not bad for £101, I'm quite happy with that to be honest with you. Makarcha, yes, I am going to wash by hand, um, snow foam very gently, and then I'm going to, on the minimum one and far away, just blow it all off so it's nice and clean. So this is what we're doing next. It should look a million dollars after a bit of detailing as well, and then my little magic stuff on here, and this bike will look rather yummy. So remember what it looks like now. Now... I was actually getting ready to uh, settle down for the night and you know where you're sitting and you're thinking it's crap on television. So I might as well um, clean the bits of the bike. So hence, this is why I'm back out here. Now, Scott Oilers. It's been going through my mind. I'm not saying they're a bad thing, okay? I wouldn't go out of my way to buy one. Um, there's nothing wrong. We're buying a quality um, Enduro Lube for the chain, and every time you wash it, put it on. I'm not saying that. 
isn't a bad thing. Um, you can get dry wax, you can get all that sort of stuff as well. I mean, you know, they're all good. But, here's something to remember. You'll notice now that um, the wheel is a nice um, silver colour and not a dark grey colour. You'll notice that. And I'm just going round rubbing off the excess bits at present minute of the stand and all little bits and bobs. Um, but take a look. Can you see something? Look at that registration plate. That is from the Scott Oiler. You see that? Look at that. Slippy, crappy oil that flicks up from an overactive Scott Oiler. I mean, it's put, I don't know, one to five, it's put on four or five, I don't know. And then eventually it gets onto the side of your tyre. And this will have you off the bike. You don't know when it's going to happen, you don't know why it's happened, but you're on the floor and you think, what the hell happened? And that's because of these. You had them, if you're going to have them, set them down. I don't like them, as I said, and I wouldn't go out of my way to get one. And I'm not just saying that because I don't want to have to re-clean this wheel loads and loads and loads. But there, look at that. Can you see? This is lovely, lovely oil. That is absolutely disgusting. And I wouldn't want anybody to think that I would say they're great and you must go and get one. No. Anyway, I'm just going to uh, start detailing soon. Um, I'm not going to show you. I have to wait. So after a bit of work with uh, my sprays and magic potions, remembering about the old heart pick, here we go. Quick look round, um, I took the brake pads out, um, filled up a little bit of brake fluid, drained a little bit out, that's just really clear, so although I was wide it might have been some time, still good back and front. The brake pads are low, uh, 500,000 miles left out of them, so a new set has been ordered. So let's have a quick look around. I've got to say, if, <laughs> if I'd have turned up and the bike Look like see them exhaust. I mean, I only put it on for a little bit. I want to put another cover on, but can you see how they're nearly chrome again? And that was just a little bit because obviously I had loads to do. But can you see the old uh, chrome colour? Look at the engine now. Do you know? A little bit of work. I mean, look at the wheels for God's sake. I mean, they looked battleship grey now, they're like a silver colour. Both of them. Do you know? If it had looked like this when I pulled up, there's nothing anybody could have said to say, all right. This is glued on, I've got to get a new one of them. That's what I said about it. it's had some sort of messing with the front, but you know, tint the screen, not necessary. The nicer mirrors because they're a crack, 20 quid, you know. What do you think? Only slightly adjusted the chain because obviously it's on the center stand. When I took it off, it wasn't that bad. Skyler, I'm going to fill up with the proper stuff, as I said. Um, just cleaned up, seat looks much better. The framework now, can you see the frame? Again, I painted Harpic on there and then cleaned and cleaned and cleaned. Engine case, it just, you know, the whole thing looks a million dollars now. There's nothing I could have moaned at when I got there if the bike had have just been to this standard. You know? And you know, you know how bad that was, you only got to look back at the other videos. I've got to mess around with the back box and the side boxes. Do you know, I'm not going to do a video. I'm just going to have to take them all apart and mess around with it a lot before I can start using them. This will be the next video, doing a full service on it. So that will consist of front brakes, rear brakes, free plugs, oil, air filter, oil change, um, fluids and water as well. We're going to do all of that in the next video up and coming. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Um, put your comments below of what you think and whether anybody fancies me showcasing their bike off by coming round and saying hello, Mark Ian, here's a cup of tea. <laughs> Alright, um, oh, no one's heard it yet, have they? Let's, uh, let's start it. So as I said in my last video, you know, it was just a quick swap round, but again, looks a million dollars compared to the other one. I'd rather say here's a working fob rather than here's a working fob that looks like crap and here's a non-working fob that looks okay. Just little things. So now we just press that buzzer, get a double flash.
being somewhat quiet today, are we? Mm. Okay, there we go. That's a wrap. Thank you so much. Please like, share and subscribe. <laughs> I've uh, just remembered. Uh, oh, there's that beeping noise. It's the black button on the bottom now will stop this from alarming every time I touch it. Um, exhaust, so you're going to have a cut more. Find out the final result of the exhaust. That'll be another video. It's so simple to do on these bikes. And then the service. Please, take care of yourselves on the road. Like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Ding 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 Yeah, I'm watching you stealing things.